Hey, I'm here with uh, Jason from State 48 Roofing. Jason, thanks for being on, man. Absolutely. Hey, so just wanted to connect. So we're looking at this roof here, and right now we're doing a roof inspection. You're helping us out with this, and you just mentioned something to me about the uh, the vines that are growing on there. Can you explain like what we're looking at and why we why we're doing this here? Yeah, so it's always it's always good to keep your vegetation away from the roof two feet. So okay. if you got a tree that's super close, like we just noticed that tree, but also with the vines, vines have moisture in them okay so when they go up underneath the roofs they cause that moisture stays there always even though it's through the vines it'll deteriorate your under limit or your flat roof or it may be and then you have all the debris and the shedding of the debris on the roof got it okay. it all depreciates the roofing material that much faster so you want to make sure all your vegetation stays a minimum two feet away from the roofs at all times okay so see what you're talking about here so we've got like here that little tree that's growing all up in here getting all underneath that underlayment and then that tree back there that's actually growing into the roof as well yeah so that's something we want to yeah that's so that's the best way to go is that that tree actually should have come down but the 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 long term is even if a tree was you know six feet over okay it still has beautiful shade beautiful and which is totally fine vines can go up the wall and do their thing but on the roof you want to keep them away and make sure that these leaves are going to shed eventually right right and then shed they don't shed on the ground they're shed on the roof and so to not to maintain that longevity of the roof, you want to make sure that you keep the maintenance up and get the get that debris off the roof every year. And so every year, somebody we should be bringing you out here to clean the roof off and make sure that everything looks yeah. good, no cracked tiles and that type yep. of thing. Just like an oil change for your for your car, exact same thing. Do an oil change for your roof, get the debris off, make sure it's nice and cleaned off. So when it rains, okay. it doesn't cause ponding and cause uh, cause problems. It runs right off the roof. Sweet so. brother. Okay, I'm interested in seeing what you think in the back. Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. be good.